Today, I'm sharing with you guys how to edit reels like low inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, to be honest, this style is actually very simple to do for yourself, but it looks super, super clean. And it's probably one of my favorite styles out there on Instagram. But before we go ahead and get inside this tutorial, I want you guys to know that my name is Chris Bustead and I run the Takeover Shop, where it's the editing assets and presets for content creators just like you. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get directly into today's banger tutorial. Okay, sweet. So now that we have our Premiere Pro project open, have our footage imported, let's go ahead and just drag and drop it into the sequence now if your sequence isn't uh the reels format just go over here to sequence sequence settings and just go to 1080 by 1920 and you'll be good to go what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to do basic cuts but before we do basic cuts let's go ahead and make sure we frame the content properly and i'm just going to go ahead and nest it so let's go over here kind of where i'm talking this looks all right sweet maybe make it a little bit bigger just like so Okay, cool. Now I'm just going to go ahead, right click and nest this. Now we're just going to go ahead and cut our footage down to make it look good. Okay. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to make the mic a little bit big, better um, because the mic quality is a little low. So I'm just going to go to effects. I'm going to type in the takeover presets. Now, this is not necessary for you guys to go ahead and do. I just do it just because it's my workflow. It helps me out a lot. If you want to go ahead and copy this pack, link will be down below. So first things first, I typically would color grade the footage, but because I record this in OBS, the footage is already color graded. Um, you guys can color grade it any way you like. To keep it easy. I'm actually going to go ahead and just include a riser in the hook because Lowe's really, really known for his sort of like hook riser sound effect. So I'm going to go to Premiere Composer, free plugin. Um, and then I'm gonna go to Chris sound effects. This pack is free. If you guys want this sound effects little pack right here, it is free linked down below. It's the uh, free solo creator pack or something like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and do riser metallic. I'm gonna go ahead, hit add. And then we're gonna line it up with the end of the hook. And the end of the hook is about right here at this cut. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag right here. And then one thing that I actually have been liking uh, for my videos specifically is going to essential sound and auto tagging it it'll auto tag it as like a sound effect and when it does that i just throw on like heavy reverb about five and then just play it through and see how it sounds so it's kind of just it builds a little bit of anticipation for like the value that's going to be dropping i'm going to go ahead and just add some overlays so how i'm going to do that is i have a creative ryan overlay pack which by the way uh it is paid but it's super, super worth it. I think it's like 40 bucks or something like that. Actually not a bad investment. Add it. And the way you add overlays is essentially at your cuts. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to effect controls, overlay. Oh, sorry, no screen. And then we're gonna go ahead and just make sure it's halfway in the middle, just like so, just like that. And then I'm gonna resize the overlay as well because it's a 4K overlay and we're working in 1080p. So that's a little it's too slow for me. So I'm gonna go to speed and direction, go to like 125%, speed it up a bit. Cool, so I like that. And then I'm also just gonna control C and then find else where I need to throw the overlay. Okay, so now that we have added our overlays, let's go ahead and play it through. Simple like that, super, super easy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just add some scales. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do a 100 to 110 scale right here, drag and drop. But let's say you don't have the preset, which actually you guys don't. So I actually am going to go ahead and just show you guys how to do this because I don't want you guys coming at me like, yo, you're only trying to sell me your presets, which bro, technically I kind of am. But at the same time, I'm only selling it to you because I know it like saves me tons and tons of time. So the way you do it is you just go over here into the scale position right here, toggle animation, 100. And then if you want to zoom in, you just do 110, just like so zoom in like that. Then you just drag the keyframe to the end of the video and you have a scale in. I'm gonna go ahead and just maybe zoom this in just like that. Maybe like 115, 117. Sweet, so we kind of have like our foundation sort of set. Now what we can go ahead and do is let's go ahead and just add on some captions. And the, the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna go over here to the text tab. If it doesn't show up, just go to window and then go to tab or text right there, it'll pop up. And then just go to transcript, go to generate static transcript. Now I'm a weirdo. I don't like the new update for Premiere Pro. So that's why I do it this way. Um, so just go ahead, transcribe and then create captions, caption over here, maximum length and characters go to like maybe nine, keep them short as possible. Lines, single double lines don't look good. They look cheesy. Don't do them. Then you hit create captions. It'll create the captions for you. Now this is kind of where we get into like the low sort of sauce. 
territory. Um, we're gonna go over here, go to Montserrat because this is kind of his main sort of font. I'm gonna go ahead and maybe just do a black super bold, just like so. And then his text is pretty much always capitalized. So I'm gonna do all caps just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove the shadow or make it very, very sort of subtle. So we'll actually just increase the size. So that way it's super, super subtle. Maybe decrease the opacity a bit. And to me, that looks pretty dang good. Maybe adjust the size a little bit. Don't wanna make it too big. Fire. Now, the, the best thing to do when you're going on adding text is make sure at cuts, they line up properly. So if they don't line up properly, it just kind of makes a weird sort of effect you don't want. So now that we have our captions, let's go ahead and actually start adding on that creative touch to this edit. So in the hook, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just delete all of the text inside of the hook. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make our own hook from scratch. So we'll leave that. So clean B-roll. Let's say I actually wanna add some B-roll when it says clean B-roll. So before that, I'm actually gonna leave this centered because I want the text to be centered when I'm talking about B-roll. Um, but I want all of this sort of text to be sort of down here. Let's just do 260. That's a good value. So we're gonna add B-roll right here. So I'm gonna go ahead. Um, let's change the font to new spirit just to show off his new sort of like uh, specialty font i guess that's what it is and then i'm just going to increase the size as well so clean b-roll and then when it says new spirit i kind of want this to just be the new spirit font new uh, spirit do it like that uh we'll also change the fill to that yellow sort of color that low does just like that maybe make it bigger dope so now that we have our captions sort of out of the way let's go ahead and just upgrade all of these to captions to graphics so if we want to edit them later we can okay so now that we have the part where i say clean b-roll i'm gonna go ahead and just add some b-roll right here so i'm gonna go ahead control i and we're just gonna find some b-roll if you don't have b-roll you can go to like free b-roll websites um honestly they're everywhere so just check it out find like a dope little section that i like we'll do something like that includes clean b-roll There we go. As you guys can see, the edits sort of come in together, looking like his super clean style. Um, and go ahead, just add like a little film burn overlay right here. And I'm also gonna just drag and drop the overlay on top of the text. So now we can go ahead and do our hook. And lowe has been doing sort of a super clean style hook where he just does like white text and then on the word that he's saying, he has it appear. Um, it's almost like the Tom Noski effect, but like a different variation, almost in Lowe's sort of style. So it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna do um, just how, how, I'm gonna use the word how. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and format the text ahead of time so we don't have to do that later. So we're gonna go to essential graphics, go to font, go to Montserrat. I'm gonna do black. I'm gonna do all caps, just like so. And maybe leave it like that, fill. We're gonna go yellow, just like so. Sweet, so now it is formatted properly. And then now I'm just gonna do how, and then I'm gonna do how you, and then the word edit. And then I'm also gonna just add a video layer. So right click at track, like low. There we go. So now that we have all of our words sort of in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and make it look sort of aesthetic. So I'm gonna go go over here to the position, change that, go to the position, change that. And then we're really just gonna make a sort of like clean topograph, topography sort of effect. So we're gonna do how, and then maybe like you, let's see, maybe start the word how up here, how you, Maybe do something like that, then edit like, and then maybe make the word low bigger and maybe italicize it just like so. Just add some sauce. Edit, maybe we do just like one line, just like so. Let me just move this over. Maybe like that looks good. Maybe bring this over center just like that edit like low yeah i like that so the whole thing of this is just try to make it sort of 
look good and you just really how you do that is you just play around with it and then as you play around with it a little bit more like you're gonna get better sort of doing this sort of stuff so I'm gonna just do something like this I kind of like this shape now that we have that let's go ahead and make our timings um, work properly so how you and then the word edit probably starts right there how you edit and low so let's see fire now um i'm actually gonna go ahead so how and i'm gonna cut this just like this and this is how we're gonna go ahead and change the font color now i'm actually gonna go ahead and just start it off yellow and then i'm gonna change this over here to white and then we're just gonna go ahead and repeat the process for each layer just like that and what that's doing is it's creating its yellow first then as soon as it switches to another word that word's highlighted yellow and it goes back to white goes back to white and then this will go back to white and that's how he sort of does like that text effect so this is looking great now i'm just going to go ahead and like add my own sort of flair to this edit so i'm going to go ahead and just drag and drop or duplicate this layer and then add the keeper plugin which by the way if you don't have it and you're on apple definitely go ahead and copy it it's a dope plugin that keys out your subject for you let's go ahead and add a track above the how you and then drag this over so that way the edit like low is on top of me so that way it just adds a little bit of depth a little bit of flair to the edit and now i want to actually add like the adobe premiere pro logo so let's go ahead and import the logo keep it like that drag and drop and i'm going to resize it to about what i'm liking i kind of want it to be something like that and then i also want it to slide in up if you guys want to know how to do that, just go ahead and watch my other like smooth movement video. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and use the takeover presets and then just do sliding up. I like that a lot. But first, let's actually nest this because we did change the size quite a bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and do sliding up. And I'm going to add a little bit of shake. So shake medium. Now, I'm also going to go ahead and add track below the Adobe Premiere Pro because I want to add some separation and a little bit of depth. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go to add a adjustment layer just like so, adjustment layer, drag and drop. We're gonna go ahead and drag the Gaussian blur effect onto this layer. And Gaussian blur, uh, I just did my takeover preset because it's just right there. Um, and then you just keyframe it up to about what looks good. And I think that looks kind of good, adds a little bit of separation, blurriness, keyframe it, and then go to the beginning and just make it zero. So that way it looks like the camera is focusing on the okay. Premiere Pro logo icon. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys learned something, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram will be down in the description below as well. Remember, take action and take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.